All right, here's how you're going to create a freebie download via Shopify. Go to your app store, type in Power, P-O-W-R, and then scroll down to Contact Form Builder. Once you click on that, you can scroll down and read the reviews and whatnot, or you can just go ahead and click Add App. I've already added it to my app store, so I'm just going to scroll back up to the top here, and then I'm going to actually go to my Shopify dashboard, click Apps, and then click on Contact Form. Now, I've created a ton of apps in here, but if you haven't, click Create New Form Builder right there, the blue button. I'm going to just click to edit a form that I've already used. Now, just go to Canva. Take the time to create a freebie that you want your audience members or email list to have. Always make sure you include a call to action that leads back to an actual product on your site. To make that link in your freebie clickable, when you go to download, make sure you download it as a PDF print instead of a PNG. Once you get that downloaded, you are going to go back to your Shopify dashboard, go to settings, scroll all the way down to files, and then upload that PDF as a file. Once you get it uploaded as a file, you can go ahead and scroll down. This window will open. I've already uploaded mine, so I don't have to do that. But just go ahead and scroll. Um, when you upload it, it'll pop up as the first one. But since I've already uploaded mine, I have to kind of scroll through and kind of look for it a little bit. I'm going to go to the next page since I create freebies all the time. And once you find your freebie, you're going to click on it and it's going to open in a new window. The new window that it opens in is going to give you a link in your URL bar. You're going to copy and paste that link and just hold on to it. Now go back to the Power app and create your new form. I'm going to just edit the one I have. When you create your new form, make sure you name it. And then you. it's going to have you on the template section of it. This is what the template section look like. Just choose the form that you want to create. Since mine is already made, I'm going to just show you. Um, go to title and description, name your form with a call to action, and then put a description of what people will get when they get ready to download it, and then go back, go to button, put the call to action on your button, and then you can change the font color and the um, button color as well. Go back and then put the information that you want people to put. Make sure you check to have it a requirement for them to actually complete the form and click done to save it. I just want people's names and email addresses. And then once I get done with that, I'm going to go to settings and go to email form to admin and put my email so that I can be notified every time someone submits the form. Then go to autoresponder. And this is how people are actually going to get the freebie. Click edit email. And a new window will open. And in this area, you can change the subject line and the pre-header text. This is what people will see when they get it in their email. And then you can customize the emails, add your logo, add your headings, and then text, and then the buttons. Um, when you add your button, click on that and then copy and paste that link from the previous window that is created when you uploaded it to files. It's this window. Copy that link into the button link bar and then you will be able to make it a clickable link. Always add a PS, press save, and it'll automatically close. Now go back to your power form, and then you can click publish, and then click on install to custom location and copy code. Now go to Shopify, and you're going to go to online store and press pages, and you can create a new page by clicking the add page button in the top right corner, or I'm just going to type in the page that I'm looking for since I already made it. And then I'm going to click the two triangles after I named the page. And that is, oh, also make sure that you do your search engine listing. But go to show HTML and that's where you're going to paste the code and where you got from power this code, paste that right there and then show HTML box, then press save and then plus view page. Now people can fill out the form and it's going to be visible on your site. Make sure you add that page to the navigation bar if you want it to be visible there. I'm just going to fill this form in so you can make sure that it works. You should always do this as well just to make sure nothing is wrong with your forms and that things are coming via email. Now I'm going to go to my email and make sure that the form came. 
I'm going to see two emails. The first email is going to show me that somebody signed up to make sure that I'm getting notifications and what they signed up for, where they signed up from. And then I'm going to see the email and what it looks like for how people get their freebies. Now I just click the button and the freebie is going to open automatically. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to make sure the links work for my call to action. And it's going to take them directly to the product that I want them to buy. And this is what the landing page for that ebook that I'm trying to sell looks like. It also has reviews on it as well. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know.